Once you choose the medium, the practice is not to master it, but to resonate the medium with our deeper self. The best part about this is gets a good tip, a round nice tip, so that I can even go to the tiny details. So I've uh, arranged all my primary colors uh, that I'm using. Now I'm trying to mix the colors. Now half close your eyes and just try to balance the composition and see and try to be really quick. Let it not dry. You need to mix your colors and prepare your colors ahead of painting because you can't mix the colors now. See the direction in which the colors are flowing talks about the direction of the flow of water. So you can even play with the direction of these strokes by tilting and um, playing with the sheet. The strokes doesn't appear too calculated and too geometrical. We are gathering so much of information and for all the information to be imbibed into our body, it's important that we reflect all the information that we take in through our sense perceptions. So rainy seasons, it's much more pleasant to work on wet on wet. You know, the strokes kind of bring the um, make the viewer look in a certain way. So it's important that you you um, know the focal point and you always orient the viewer to look towards the focal point. Make sure the first layer you're doing is uh, visible till the end. So remember, the tones that you're adding are going to become much lighter once they dry. So whenever you need it, soft edges, it's important that we work on wet on wet. Textures, unlike plain wall, mm, offer a sense of intrigue and interest. And how is it happening? It's because of the geometry. Once I'm done with the rocks, I wanted to add some element to know the scale of the rocks. So I'm just adding a few monkeys here and there. Colors on all sides. And now let them flow across the sheet. I just want to leave the second layer and paint the darker tones so that both first layer and second layer are going to come out. So this green color with highlights is going to create a very interesting contrast against the dark mountain in the back. Now it's time to do some lifting on the highlights. So I'm just, wherever there's a light going to fall, I'm just lifting up those areas. I cannot spare a moment of distraction from this. Absolute attention. See how the pigment is already granulating. And fearlessly dive into the world of watercolors and rejoice in discovering our own selves.